he's the bad guy, but the good guy is Barack Obama. Then you analyze his policies, and it's the same thing. Foreign private banks are imploding our economy with their Trojan horse system right now. They are engaging in a, by design, global collapse into a worldwide depression where the solution will be a worldwide world bank, as Newsweek magazine has said, that you will pay your carbon taxes to on everything you do in your life. This will make the IRS look like angels. Everything is going to a cashless society to track and trace and control everything you do. Now, the good news is the system's lost all credibility. They're hoping that by the media getting behind this puppet Obama, that somehow that will stall the public long enough so they can get their world government system in place. But we've got to reach out now during this key phase and expose it. That's why Obama himself has said he's got a couple hundred days when he first gets into office. And he says he's going to have a blitzkrieg of legislation and a new banker takeover bill and trillions more for foreign banks with no transparency or no oversight. Where we've got to pay the taxes for that money and then pay interest on the money that we give to the banks. We give them interest on money we give them. Do you understand that? Do you compute that? Do you read that? Do you understand how in, they have introduced a bill? I covered this last week. I forget the bill number. I'll cover it a week and I'll pull it up. It's in the headline news archive at infowars.com the bill says that instead of just passing piecemeal bills to ban certain guns and can go after certain firearms that the attorney general can just ban any gun he wants it gives him the power the illegal Ill- illegitimate power to ban whatever he wants by executive fiat they're openly saying they're going to have armed troops on the streets of america not just for the inauguration that's going to be used to condition the public to seeing that we're being totally taken over here. All right, I gotta go to the calls, and then I'm gonna get back into the news. Mike in New York here on the air. Hey, Alex. I don't know where to start, but let me first say, David Rockefeller, all these people, Kissinger—they're nobodies. People need to look up and do research on the Hanseatic League, the Teutonic Knights. It's a German death cult. I mean, you know it. You read Man in the Pee Hole, and you know that. Well, no, I mean it, it, it's the black nobility, the old money, the royalty out of Europe, allied with the Rothschild banks. If people don't know the whole picture, they're never going to know the name of the tune, and it's eugenics. So they, they need to understand And that's this. why they want socialism to get everybody on the government dole so they can control and micromanage every facet of your life. It's people about IBM. It's about the human genome. It's about end game. Exactly. People are getting caught up talking about mindless, useless information. Yeah, while well, everybody's eugenics. distracted on the puppet. A Barack Obama who runs nothing while everybody's debating him and how he's the savior, the real power elite are in control. You'll never know who they are. You'll never see them. Now, I don't know if you heard this news. Did you hear? It was yesterday. Uh, Obama was in uh, Philadelphia, and he called for a new declaration of independence. Yes, they're calling for a new America. Cover this? Yes, and, and no, I, I was out of town, but I didn't read it. And and, okay. and, and he's saying... Again, that he'll be like Lincoln to reorganize America. Well, what happened under Lincoln? Wars, death, secret arrest, congressmen being arrested, total control. They, exactly. He'll be the savior. They create the crisis. They give you the puppet savior. They bring in their world government. If you watch him on the news, everyone's calling him the Messiah. I mean, people need to understand this. That I mean, we've never had a black president in the history of this country, which I'm not against blacks. And the, exactly. And the one we get is a total New World Order front man. People need to do their research, and they need to know that Judgment Day is upon us. No doubt we're in deep trouble, my friend. Keith in Austin, you're on the air. Oh, thanks for taking my call, Alex. Um, I was just wondering, man, that you should probably go on to, like, a, a another radio show that, you know, has your same beliefs and your same, uh, like you saying, how you going on local, why don't you go on, like, National ones like Michael Savage show. Have you ever well, heard Michael of him? Savage, Michael Weiner, the beatnik, wouldn't have me on. Uh, so, so that's a separate issue. The main fake conservative shows won't, but I do go on national shows. I was giving an example of myself locally with a host being informed. Okay. Well, can I get one more thing? You like, like how you said the uh, the elite, how they set Barack Obama up. You know, they they're putting it out there for the population. I don't know, man. I, I've been discussing it with, you know, other people. Have you ever looked at the commemorative quarters and how, I don't know if it's stupid to you or not, but to me, I mean, I think I was looking at it, like you said, how the elite, how the last, you know, three quarters 
one is Hawaii, and then the one is uh, Alaska, and the other one was Arizona. You know, is, is that something like, I don't know, man. I was just looking at the them commemorative quarters, you know. Specifically, they've got us in 10 FEMA regions, and we're officially in the North American Union since March 24, 2005. We have all the government documents. It's public, but it's not on the news. Just like they announced the Trans-Texas Corridor is dead, but then the next line said, we're just breaking it into subparts. It's deceptive criminals. They do whatever they want. And again, I'm not even attacking Barack Obama. He's a talented, slick, smart guy. It's a lot less insulting having a smart guy sit there and lie to you than having some you know, person like Bush doing it. But he's still just a front man. And, and I see all these poor people who mean well sucked into believing he's going to save them and fix it literally thinking that they're saved, and and it's a total setup. Just watch. They are going to rape the economy. They're going to blow it out, and if you don't go along with it, your neighbors are going to turn you in. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Jones. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the call. We're going to come back and talk to J.D. in Mississippi, Ken in Austin, Rob in Kansas, Betty in Wisconsin, and others. The toll-free number to join us is 877-590-5525, 877-590-5525. You know, I've been doing these new audio blogs, well, and then a few of them, and I'm going to start doing them every couple of days, because, you know, at midnight at my house, I'm relaxed, I'm cool, calm, collected, I can actually go over data and a lot of facts, and I've done that today, but I, I, I just want to get on the air, I just want to warn people, it's live, I'm here begging you to, to, to not even look at what I look like or what I'm even saying, but look at the facts I'm presenting, because <laughs> this stuff's real, I mean, they really do put cancer viruses in your vaccines. The government really does kidnap over a million kids a year in this country with no due process. They really do lie. I mean, I was talking to one of my friends. Their son was sick two days with the flu, so they sent him a letter saying, we're going to file criminal charges for truancy on your child. All about getting you in the system. Nothing. And then, of course, I know the state law in Texas is 14 truancies. Is truancy. 14 unexcused habits. It's just all lies. They don't care. They call you into these fake little family courts and say, sign the form or I'm going to have you arrested. And people waive their rights and sign the form when it's a contract fraud. It wasn't even real law. It's just, it's all fraud. It's all lies. It's a nation, a world of lies and corruption and fraud. And I know globalists are in control. I know we, the, the, that there's an advanced technological civilization under the shadow government, under continuity of government under the National Security Act operating, and then we're all just down here in this false paradigm of baloney and lies, and I know it's bad for 99.9% .9 of us. It's a tiny control freak elite that are out of control. We have to come together and resist them! You know, I started the broadcast today talking about how the new Treasury Secretary they're trying to appoint, the nominee, didn't pay his income taxes and was told about it over a year ago and said, I don't care. Over 65% of Congress doesn't pay them. They are lawless criminals. I saw an AP report that they're putting up signs all over D.C. saying this is a prostitution-free zone. I thought it was already illegal there. The truth is, most of them are using them. They're all over the streets. I was just there a few months ago. Hookers everywhere. You ought to see Georgetown, the elite areas. The Watergate Hotel, we were going there to do an interview. Hookers everywhere. Executive limousines pulling up a Secret Service saying, turn your cameras off. Turn the cameras off, hookers get out. They don't care about you. The elite doesn't care about you. In fact, they hate you. And that's the main point I'm trying to get across today. And I know, again, most of you know that. we got to warn people. we got to explain to them the scam that's going on. And I watched this sickening bandwagon for Barack Obama as if he's going to fix everything. And they said, get behind everything we're doing or you're holding it back. That's the system of control. Let's just rampage through your calls. J.D. in Mississippi, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing, Alex? Good, sir. Uh, well, I'm running for mayor in my town here in Ripley. Um, running, uh, run, running as a Democrat on the constitutional ticket. Um, I'm, I'm uh, running under the same principles as Ron Paul. Uh, I've got two opponents. Both of them are uh, Marxists, uh, sad to say. But uh, I, I think it's looking pretty good at this point. I, I went to the uh, Martin Luther King Memorial Service this afternoon, and it more or less turned out to be you know, nothing for really Martin Luther King. Uh, they talked about Obama the entire time, and I was really disappointed with, you know, with you know the hope that people have for this puppet. And he, it, it, 
And see, they're going to be delusional. They're going to buy whatever lie he puts out because, well, I, I signed on to this. It's got to work. It's got to. I can't be wrong. I've got to go along with carbon taxes and secret police and troops on the streets and regulations on everybody. I got to watch my neighbor because my neighbor is against Obama. They're the ones holding back everything. He'd fix it, but they're not going along with it. Oh yeah, I mean people, and that, this is what I was telling people. While I was there, man. You got to look to yourselves. You have to look to the Constitution. This is not about some man. You know, Hitler was a man. I mean, you have to look to yourselves, and you have to look to you know Christ for your guidance. And if people don't start doing that, it, it's just going to get worse. It's going to get worse every single day. And we have to start looking after ourselves and looking at after ourselves at the local level. Not just at, you know, the state level. And that's in. where we can move in and block the New World Order. Here's Parade Absolutely. Magazine, published in most newspapers across the country. What I want for you and every child, a letter to my daughters from President-elect Barack Obama. And it's this photo of him and his family, and he's talking about how he's the nation's daddy, and he's what he wants for you, and how much he loves you.